Hello, once again, my name is Russell Smith. I am the technology facilitator for Fuqua Verena High School, as well as Carpenter Elementary. And I'm back with another tech tidbit for 2015. Today's tech tidbit deals with a, a technology standard that uh, North Carolina is really getting on board with using technology. Um, the idea is to have students collaborate with each other and to work together, share information with each other on project-based learning. And uh, what they need to do is they need to be able to find a way to share information with each other easily. Um, the site that I've found um, does just that and it does not require an email or a login or anything like that. It's free to use for anybody. It's called Just Paste It, J-U-S-T-P-A-S-T-E dot I-T. And what it is, it basically it's a note uh, generator. What you can do is you can enter information, you can take notes, you can uh, create links to websites, you can insert pictures, and then when you publish it, it creates a unique um, URL link that you can post on a website or a blog or in an email that when you click on it, you go straight to it, the link lasts as for as long as you want it to, and then you can make it, and then it's available for anybody who wants to access it. You are able to upload files yourself, upload pictures, create text links, create links to websites. You can also customize the link, the name of the link if you want to, by entering your own page name. Or, and you can also password protect it if you want to keep it so it's not open to the general public. Um, it looks just like this. There's no sign in, like I said. All you need to do is you just need to type a note. So I'm going to go ahead and just type some information. Let's say, for example, you want to create a link for students to click on from your website where it's your morning work for a particular day. So I'm going to demonstrate how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight each sentence that I wrote. You can choose the, the style of the font and the size of the font as well. I'm going to highlight all of this, make it bold, make these, both of these smaller than my main headline here. And I'm going to post a picture right here that I've already selected. I'm going to click right here to insert, an, insert or edit an image. I'm going to click here because I don't have it uploaded already. And then it's saved in a file. I'll click Upload. Add Files. And Upload. close. Here's my picture right there. I'm going to insert it. It shows me what the source is and the dimensions. And it inserts the picture. If it's too big to fit in the window, you can click on it to shrink it down a little bit so it fits within the text window. If it's too big, originally. Now what this is, this is a picture I took from uh, New Year's Eve in uh, downtown Raleigh. So I'm going to click publish. And when it's done, the note has been published. It's available at http colon slash slash disk pasted slash itpf. Now I just generated um, a URL right there. If you need to edit it some more, I'm going to go ahead and click and open this in a new tab. And it's very it's not very fancy, it's just pretty pretty plain Jane. But this is what it looks like. It shows you the number of views and it shows you how many notes I have online. If you decide you want to save it as a PDF, you can click this link. And then you can save this document as a PDF if you want to save it for posterity, if you want to save it offline. But I'm going to click this. If I want to go back into it and change the information, I click this link here and it takes me right back to my note. 
if I decide I want to give it a custom page name, I can go over here on the right hand side and there is a box. So after the just paste it link slash you can change it to morning work one nine fifteen because that's the day I'm recording this. And if I click publish, you can see that it's changed my URL right there. So what you can do is you can create a cat you can archive all the different links that you create for students and what you can do then is you can copy this link and I can go to my uh, classroom website and in this case I'm using Weebly I've created a new page for morning work I drag a text box over here secure the edit So I'm creating, I'm going to enter text for morning work, 1, 9, 15, highlight it, make it a little bit bigger, so it's easy to see, create a link, and I've already copied the unique URL from just paste it, I'm going to paste it in there, I'm going to make it open a link in the new window and click save, and publish, go to my website, Click on morning work. And when I click on the link for morning work for 151915, there's my link for my morning work. So what you can have your students do if they have access to a computer in the morning is they can go and click on a link and they can do their morning work. Now, how do they link it to you? Very easy. What, they, what you can what they can do is they can go to just paste it click right here I'm going to go back to the website and they can begin to start typing their story about the, about the paragraph so I'm going to pause the video for just a moment write my story and then I'm going to create a link really quick that you can send to the teacher so I've paused the video and I've written my paragraph as, as was my morning assignment. I'm going to call this Morning Work Russell. Click Publish. And I click here. And there's my um, URL that I can copy and send to my teacher or she can come and paste it on her website herself. Now, as I just want to point out really quickly, um, Just Paste It is very easy to use. Um, you have your um, you can have either a paragraph text, headline one, two, and three, so different sizes of text. It's standard formatting, just like you'd have in Microsoft Word. Bold, italicized, underlined. You can have tech, different text colors. You can put in bullet points, you can put in numbered lists, you can align left, center, or right, or, or justify it. You can increase indentation or increase indentation. You can have the paragraph indention from left to right or from right to left. If you have a formatting, you can insert a link to a website. So if I wanted to link to Carpenter, uh, Carpenter's website, I just copy and paste in the website link, click OK, call it Carpenter link, click Publish, and there's my just pasted note, and then it will take you straight to the Carpenter website page. So you can use Just Paste It for just about anything you can think of, really. It's uh, very simple. Like I said, it's free. It doesn't cost anything. You can insert pictures. You can insert links to videos from YouTube or possibly Discovery Ed. Um, just about anything you can think of. Um, that's my quick tidbit uh, hit for the beginning of 2015. 
Thanks for watching, and I hope you tune in next time for another Tech Tidbit. Take care.